Hey, Johannes of NewGadgets.de and I'm still at the Intel Future Showcase in Hamburg, Germany. And let's have a look at the research for intelligent headlights because seeing through rain, um, it sounds pretty interesting. So let's see how this works. My name is John Tompkins, I'm with Intel Labs. Um, today we're showing our Seeing Through Rain project. This is a research project that is being done with a relationship with Intel Labs and Carnegie Mellon University. And in this demo what we're showing is how we can develop a headlight that can see through rain. And I'll step through this animation. It'll kind of show what we're what we're working on. So the prototype consists of a headlight projection system, a camera, and a beam splitter that can analyze rainfall as it's falling through the field of view of a headlight. So today you have a headlight that illuminates everything. You have 100% illumination, and you see 100% of the rainfall. What we're working on is a system that would allow the system to analyze that rainfall as it's going through the field of view of the headlight and with processor uh, algorithm we're able to predict those future locations of where the rain is going to be falling through that path and then share that information with the projection system so that black spots where we're actually taking away the light in specific locations where the rain is predicted to fall. And when we turn the system on, what it'll do is as that rain falls through the, the beam, it's able to be analyzed and then when the system begins to black out those specific light areas that would hit the rain otherwise, you can actually see better through the rain. You don't see those long streaks that you're familiar with when you're driving in a heavy rainstorm. So this is how the system is working. The camera input is seeing the rain as it's falling through the headlight beam. The computer prediction is actually trying its best to create and predict that location. So the green you're seeing are areas of the raindrop that we've successfully not illuminated. The red indicates areas of the raindrop that are still getting some light. And the blue represents areas that we've blacked out that, um, that there is no rain there. So it's constantly trying to adjust to accurately create this map and this mask of, of black dots that would eliminate the rain as it falls through there. In this uh, video you're seeing the system where you, you have 100% illumination here, so you see those long streaks. And then with the system turned on, you can still see the bookshelf behind, but that as we analyze where that rainfall is, is coming, it'll calculate that and begin to turn off those light sources that would otherwise hit the raindrops.